So musculoskeletal, is that how you say it? Musculoskeletal. musculoskeletal. <laughs> there we go. Injuries are quite common and painful. And today we're going to be talking about dislocations specifically. And while shoulder dislocations like Devin's That's account right. for nearly 50% of all joint dislocations. Really? They can mm -hmm. occur in just about any point, any joint in our bodies. So here to tell us a little bit more about that is, of course, Nurse Christina Paris of the VA. Thanks for joining us this morning. Hi, good morning, Glad, and I'm glad we have an expert yeah. here who will help shed uh, light yes. from his standpoint. Uh, unfortunately, too. I guess if you want to put it in that way, <laughs> it hurts. Exactly. Here's a good example of it. But first, tell us a little bit about sure. what is dislocation. So a dislocation is any time um, two bones from a joint come apart. So we have lots of muscles and tendons, ligaments, even nerves um, mm. and blood vessels all holding together things like our, our shoulders or our elbow or even our fingers, you know. So any joint is where two bones meet and, they, and, and any one of them can be dislocated. Like I said, your fingers, your knees, your shoulders, um, oh, wow. elbows, hips. They can okay. all become mm. yeah, dislocated. Yeah. So tell us some symptoms that would maybe alert someone to this type of injury. Because I feel like when you know have anything goes on with your bones, right. you think, oh, I broke it, I you know twisted right. it, and I dislocated it. So what's for this? Absolutely. So you're going to have pain, of course, oh. and swelling, bruising. Um, you can even your joint may look out of place. Um, you might be able to like not be able to actually move your joint, or it just feels in unstable. So, Devin, what did yours feel like when you... It was, it, you could tell it was out though. It, it felt off, it was, kind of felt like it was dangling. I was kind of favoring that side as well. Oh. And after a bit though, nausea kicked in for me oh. as well oh. though. So I don't know how I was able to hold that back, yeah. but it definitely, it was definitely kind of a nausea type of situation for me as well that the hospital had mm -hmm. to address. This one took an ER trip to get it back in. Uh, there've been some times where it slides back in on its mm -hmm. own. I think it was a different name for that from what the hospital told me. But this one was definitely one of the more uh, not so great ones. Mm -hmm. I know back in 2016, the first First one that the doctors had to put that one back then they had to put this one back in too so there are there are a couple types you can either have a complete dislocation so it's all all the way out or yeah, partial cool. so maybe the partial was the one that you were able to kind of pop back in or get back or, or in slip or slip back mm -hmm. on its own this one i could not I even took the doctors a bit too mm -hmm. so i have a nice bruise on my arm now because they had a hard time with the oh. iv at first but they got it on my hand eventually and yeah. uh they had to use some uh, some some drugs to kind of get the pain and the nausea mm -hmm. to come down the next thing you know, they were working on the shoulder, pulling me in one direction with the body and then pulling the arm in the other way. And eventually, you knew when it was back Yeah. Then. You just, you know. It's almost instant, isn't it? It's, the, a, it's the, instant the, relief mm -hmm. right away. That sounds yeah. just dreadful. Yeah. <laughs> so is it like in the movies and like in shows, like when someone dislocates their arms like hanging down? Is that it, a It kind of feels that way, it though. It can. It can be forward. So you can see where it's, mm. it's out. Oh. Um, uh, when I was in the military uh, doing some of my training, one of the, the airmen came in and they had dislocated it. And these are big, strong, mm. you know, people oh, yes. and just screaming from pain. <sighs> it was so bad. But like Devin said, as soon as it's back in place, mm -hmm. you know, your muscles and everything are like, okay, you know, we're, <laughs> we're where we should be. <laughs> but, but it takes me a bit to recover too. There's my, that's my sling right there though. I have it, I think I can have it off for now though, um, mm -hmm. but, yeah, I mean, I had to have it in place for a bit, though, while it recovered the muscles. Obviously, probably stretched out and uh, muscle right. spasms yep. for a bit afterward, right. too, even during the dislocation, some muscle spasms. Mm -hmm. And I actually go in to see orthopedics today as we're going to be doing some further uh, testing to see what's going on to cause all these dislocations. I've had, like, probably... I've lost count 10 at least since Yikes. 2016. Yeah. So, so speaking of I'm all of these of <laughs> dislocations right. that you're having, are there ways to, you know, prevent this moving forward? So there are, you know, they happen usually from accidents, traumatic mm -hmm. things that can occur, um, car accidents, sports injuries, falls. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, uh, and so anyone is really, you know, at risk for it, especially if you are very active, you know, mm -hmm. you, you mm -hmm. ski or even snowmobiling accidents, things like that. We have to watch for this yep. season because yes. those things. Those tend, high impact moments. Right. Absolutely. And then, like Devin said, there's there's um, rest, um, ice, heat, you can wear slings. You um, may even have to have surgery if it continues. And I'm, I'm, I, and I'm just guessing right now. I don't know mm -hmm. what the doctors will say, though. It wouldn't surprise me if surgery is yeah. needed. But mm -hmm. obviously, I don't know that yet. I, uh, 
they're the experts for a reason. <laughs> so we'll we'll find out. But I do I do think they want to do an MRI, which would, I have not done that in the history of this. So mm -hmm. I'm hoping we can finally oh. put this to bed with the uh, proper procedure. Yeah, and the more you damage a muscle or pull it in and out, the weaker that area is going to get. So you're going to be more prone to having this happen again. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, Devin, you said 10 times is 2016, so it's 10 times in like six years. Oh, it's, it's not been fun, but most of them been partial, so this was the this is the only second one that's where mm -hmm. I couldn't get it back in without doctor yeah. help. Is the second so. in a row? Or? No. Oh, okay. the, the first and the recent. The first one was 2016, mm -hmm. and then the second okay. one now. So either way, though, it's not great. I mean, there are ways to kind of strengthen it, too, which is always mm -hmm. encouraged as well. This is my dominant arm, so it gets a lot of use. But right. Right. yeah, yeah. but it's always got to be careful now. I mean, I, obviously, mm -hmm. I'm kind of on injured reserve from the guys at basketball right, right. now because right now it's still too weak. It could easily pop out again right. without the say, proper strengthening. You could say you're on some thin ice. Yeah. You, you could say. Oh. Oh. <laughs> the too soon is it too soon. Yeah. Well, thank you so much yeah. Jessica, for coming in and telling us all about this. Absolutely. And if anyone has questions or you're concerned, mm. go talk to your doctor. Absolutely. Yes. And Sorry. thank you, Devin, for a little more insight yeah. on your yes. perspective. Sure thing. I don't wish on anyone. It definitely hurts. <laughs> You've been very helpful this morning. Thank you yes. so much. Yes. And coming up, we have what's trending, including an A.